Hello everyone, I welcome you again in this another tutorial video and this week we will talk about class attributes in Java. So for those who don't know me or new here, hey guys, I'm Ujwal and I make this Java tutorial just like this. So if you're interested in those stuff, then please consider subscribing. Now, I hope you're doing great on it learn. So let's click this video. But before that, let's go ahead and check out the agenda. So here we have the agenda for the video guys. Uh, first of all, we will see what is class attributes. After that, we'll see how to access an attribute. Following that, we'll see how to modify an attribute. And we'll wrap up this video by discussing multiple attributes. So the first one is class attributes. So guys, an attribute is a public variable inside a class or object. For example, length is an attribute of an in data type. Here we have this mini program and in this we have taken an in data type and this variable name length. So this length is an attribute in this. In other words, we can also say class attributes are the variables within the class. Now let's talk about how we can access an attribute. So guys, to access an attribute, we need to create an object of that class. After creating object, we can use or we can access that attribute using dot syntax. To demonstrate that, I have made this mini program here. And this, I have made a class. The class name is Arfisto. And here we have the in data type, the attribute is length and the value is 10. In the main function, I'm creating an object. I believe you know how to create an object from the previous videos. If not, then I will definitely put the link in the description. Also, I'm explaining you here. So guys, to create an, any object, we just need to write the name of our class, which is Alfesto here. And after writing the name of the class, we need to write the name of our object, which we want to give. So here, I have mentioned my object, because this is the name I want to give to my object. You can give any name. Then equals to, and then don't forget to write this new, and then again the name of your class, and then this brackets and semicolon. And after that, you can just go ahead and write the name of your object. Then this dot, which we already discussed here, this dot syntax. And after your object name, then dot syntax. And then you can call your attribute. You can write the name of it, which is a length. So you can write length. And when you call this, or when you run this, you're going to get this 10. So this is how we access an attribute by creating object and by calling that using the object name dot the name of your attribute now let's see that how we can modify or override an attribute so guys a modifier override means giving a new value to our attribute assume here we have this length value is 10 and we want to change it to 20 so to do that we can just come here and we can write the name we can say my object dot length and we can give a new value we can just say 20 and when you put the semicolon which means you have assigned a new value to your attribute which is length and the new value is 20 and when you run the program this time you will not get this 10 you will get this 20 because this is what you have assigned the new value let's go ahead and run the program to see if we are gonna get the expected output here we have the output that is 20 because this is the new value which we have assigned to this so now let's talk about multiple attributes so guys, we can also have multiple attributes like in this example, I'm having two attributes. The one is int length and the value is 10. The second is int height and the value is 15. And in the same way, I'm just creating an object to access those values. Also, I'm modifying these this value, this height thing. Here, I have initialized a 15, but again, I'm saying it's 20. So the new value stored is 20. And this is how we can access just by writing the name of our object and using the dot syntax and the name of the attribute. Also, we can go ahead and create two objects if you want. We can just go ahead and create the other object. The difference is going to be the name of the object. We have to give a different name to our object. And if you're saying this, just let's say that store the height value in object one and call this. So when we run the program, we're going to say 10 for the length and we're going to get 20 for the height. And this is how we can create two different objects just by writing the name of the different object. So let's go ahead and run the program to see if you get the expected output. So here we have the output that is 10 and 20 because the length we passed here that was 10 and the height was 15 but we modified it to 20 and this is what we call. So this is how we access any attribute just by writing the name of the object using the dot syntax and the length and to modify it we can just say the name of the object dot the name of the attribute and we can give a new value to that and I believe you know how to create an object. So that's all for this field. I'll see you in the next. Bye bye.